Hello and welcome to the first episode of Ecuador Stories, my series where I tell you stories from my recent volunteer expedition to Ecuador. Today we are starting with the bag mauling story, which sounds pretty interesting, right? Yeah. I suppose the bag mauling story starts in England where I was packing my giant 80 litre rucksack with all the things I'd need for a month away. I was worried actually about my bag because I was very concerned that it would be too heavy. But we got to Heathrow, they put it on the thing, it wasn't too heavy, it went away and I didn't see it until we got to Quito airport in Ecuador. When I did find it at Quito airport in Ecuador, it looked like this. Yep. The whole of the back of the bag looked like it had been clawed by a bear, like ripped and savaged with claws. The damage was actually pretty bad, the back had been ripped, like you could almost get inside the bag with how badly it had been ripped. Uh, one of the straps had completely come off so there was only one functioning strap and that was only holding on by a tether. The top of the bag, the, the bit with the clips, the, the <laughs> technical terms. Um, had also been broken. My sleeping bag had been tied onto my bag because it had been, my sleeping bag had been balanced on the top of all my other things at the top of the bag and something had ripped it so it, um, so the sleeping bag had fallen out so someone must have tied it back on. I handled it pretty well I thought, I kind of joked about it, I didn't quite believe it at first, I thought this can't be, it can't just be my bag, everyone's bags must have been attached but no everyone else's bags were intact, it was just mine and then our leader Caroline came over and we were like, oh, this is an issue. So we took pictures of it so that we could try and do something about it. We tried to talk to people in customs, but it was 1am and we were all really, really tired and no one spoke Spanish apart from Richard, but none of us were prepared to sort this out at the airport. So I kept it together. Two of us held my bag by <laughs> the remaining intact straps and we carried it through to the bus and we loaded it onto the bus and we got from the bus to the first camp, the kind of transition camp we were staying in and we got it into my room and we left it for that night because it was so late and we'd been traveling for like 36 hours. But I held it together pretty well. Um, I didn't cry until I got on the bus and on, I was on my own and no one could judge me for it. Um, but everyone was really sweet about it because a few of the boys offered to like put my stuff it spread the, my stuff over their bags so that I wouldn't have to like abandon all my things and it was really nice and then Caroline gave me a giant 80 litre dry bag to put all my things in. It was quite a way to start the trip, let's put it that way. In hindsight it was kind of funny. In the present moment it wasn't funny at all because I was facing the prospect of going for a whole month with a broken bag but luckily uh, we got rid of the bag the next day. A week and a half later I went shopping for a new bag and United Airlines paid for it. Which is always a bonus, they bought me two new water bottles because mine had been broken and a new bag which is really pretty. The bag thing didn't really come up again except when we were flying back from the Galapagos and we were in the same aspect of Quito airport waiting for our a bag of liquids to come through because we didn't take our big bags to Galapagos. And one of my friends just kind of laughed and went, ha, last time we were here your bag got mauled. And I was like, ha, I'm gonna punch you. <laughs> it was really funny. It was funny. That's my first story from Ecuador. Give it a like if you liked it. Leave a comment if you've had any travel disasters to reassure me that it's not just me. And subscribe if you're excited for more stories because I currently have nine or ten ideas of brilliant things that happened from the trip and I'm still hoping that some people would like to collaborate and tell more stories with me. So yeah, that's that. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed filming it and I'll see you next time. Bye!